So for today's tutorial, um, to achieve that banner, you're going to just need a hot glue, some scissors, some of this, um, it's like paint, you can find it at Walmart, and it's white, some gold streamer string, and um, two of these felt um, paper strips, right here, red and pink. So let's get started. Sorry about that. So then I'm going to cut it in half right here. And that'll get me making these two pieces. So while I have those here, I'm also going to cut on the bottom. So like that, making it like look like a banner, kind of. And then I'll just, so that they're the same size, I will trace it. So there's two pieces. And then I'm going to do the same with the pink one. So the red one got kind of cut off when I did it, so I just fold it in half right there. And then I'm just going to cut. And I'm just eyeballing it out. You can use a ruler and stuff like that, but I'm just eyeballing it. So then from there, I'm going to cut in half again right here. Just put my scissors through that. And then you can use one of the red ones to trace that if you want to like that. And these scissors are able to cut really good fabric, so it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so here we have all four pieces. And then the two red ones. So it's going to kind of look like the banner, like this. Let's see. So then now with the glue, it's like fabric glue. I use this for everything, for my daughter's shirts that I make them, for um, party decorations, for everything. It's like a dollar, and you can find it at Walmart with any color. This one is white. Okay, so here's the first one, and I'm going to just write an L on it with this. I don't know if you can see it as much, but I'm going to try to freehand it. So this is how the L came out, and then I'll just thicken it out too as well. But I'm just going to get them on there first to see how it looks. So there's the O. the B and last is 
is the So there's the E. And I'm just gonna thicken them out a little bit with the glue. And then while those are drying, I'm going to take my gold string and then just see how long I need. Maybe leave some extra. my hot glue gun I'm going to glue it on so I hot glued the banner together and the letters still aren't dry but um, the hot glue gun wasn't reaching so I wasn't able to to do it on camera but I just wanted to show you guys the final result just put a little bit of hot glue on the back of them and glued it to the string. It was really easy to do. So that's how it looks. L-O-V-E. So this next one's going to be pretty simple as well. I'm taking those extra pieces of felt paper that I cut from the banner that I did right now. And there's two reds, two pinks, and I have some, this is optional, just extra pink ribbon right here. Um, just a uh, it was like 50 cents at Michael's. And then I have these just laying around the house. So I got two pink ones and two red ones. They're just decorative craft that I've used for my girls' um, Valentine stuff throughout the years. And then I have four of these brown um, clips. And I have a whole bunch of these for my parties as well. So just stuff that I had laying around the house. So with the scissors and this belt paper, I'm going to cut strips. Both of them, I'm gonna just cut two straight lines on both of them. And then I'll line them all up. I end up having four little squares right here, and you can straighten them out if you want to. And then I'm going to do the same with the pink ones.
open right here with this one. I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue. And then glue this. Just a little dot right here. And then take one of the and place it on there. looks like that and then for extra you can leave them like this if you want but I'm just gonna do two strips of this so it kind of looks like a bow arrow so that's it for these I'm just gonna do the rest And then with the string, I'm going to place these around their board and you can um, snap on pictures to them or things that they make at school or stuff like that. So the last craft is for a newborn or baby that you have. I always do these prints on my, um, I always take hat or feet prints of my babies when they're babies just every month so I have them. Um, and I did it for baby Layla, two um, feet prints going, making like a heart shape. So I did the left and the right, pink and red, to connect to make a heart. So I'm just going to cut those out. And I hand these out to my family members every holidays, and it's something that they can cherish. So what I did is I cut it. And then right here, I'm just going to cut it in the shape of a heart. And don't worry if the baby's feet prints aren't perfect. They're never perfect, but they're still super cute. So right here. And then you can just write happy Valentine's Day and maybe the date and the year and the babies. And these are really cute to give to their ninos and ninas or just their aunts and their uncles or even for you to keep. I'm going to keep this one for me. So I'm making this for the girls banner in the room as well. So um, I have the extra red felt paper from the banner we made and I'm just going to hot glue it on right here. So once I hot glued it on like this, you're going to just cut around it just to give it a border. So that's it right here, and it's just super cute. And then the room just like this, so it can hold it up. Or you can also hole punch that, and then have it hanging for a decoration in anybody's house, whoever you give it to. So 
I need to get a better camera so that I can record more, like at this angle. So, let's set my out. And all this decoration is for my girls' room, and I'll show you guys a clip right now of what I did. So, this is how it turned out. This is my girls' um, desk in the room right here. And, um... My mother-in-law made it for her. We bought it at the thrift store and she painted it white and put some knobs on it. So it was like eight bucks. And the top right here is like erasable. Um, so you can write on it with one of the dry erase markers. So I got these um, little window stickers from the dollar section in Target and I placed them right there. <coughs> And then they have um, their thing that their dad and me gave them last year. And then some decorations. And here is the board that I made for them. There's the banner with the arrows, um, clips that are holding them. And then there's a picture of them from Chuck E. Cheese. And every year on Valentine's Day we go to Chuck E. Cheese. And here is baby um, Layla's handprint. How it came out super cute. I'm trying to focus in. And we're going to pass those out to everybody on Valentine's Day. So that's how it looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. And yeah, I love doing decoration stuff for my girls. Say cheese, guys! <gasps> Layla! Mia! Mia, can you act like you're happy? Happy! <laughs> happy.